Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. I'm really excited to be able to share this Google Calendar Events page with you. We're going to build all of this using Google Calendar Event data. We're going to add our own API endpoint using Netlify functions, build all of this out with VJS as a dev environment. We'll add Tailwind CSS to get all the styling, and then the client will actually decide how many events they want to pull from our own endpoint. You can see here, if you slide the slider, it actually changes how many events show. All this styling, again, is done with uh, Tailwind CSS. We've even got nifty little see details buttons for those that have info. And then you've got the actual dates and times here uh, as well. Now, this also works great in dark mode because Tailwind can easily style both at the same time uh, with just different classes. So we're going to set up dark mode at the same time we set up light mode. I will mention if you ever get stuck or you want to know kind of what to do next, there is a GitHub link I'll add in the description. The main branch is all the completed code. And then we've got four other branches. If you get stuck in this first lesson, you can just grab the code from starting point <laughs> for lesson two, and that will get you everything we're going to do in, in this environment. Uh, same thing for lesson three and lesson four. And then again, the completed code is in the main branch. If you want to make your own improvements to this, and there are plenty you could do, go ahead and just pull do a pull request on the community improvements branch, or you can certainly leave a comment below as well. Uh, but that way we can kind of build something better together than I can do in a quick video here once. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to set up the dev environment today, and then in the next video is when we'll actually do some of the coding. But the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my local terminal here. I just did that with control and then the little tilde sign. You can also go up to the file menu and do the same thing. Uh, we do need to have Node.js installed on this machine. If you don't have that, go to nodejs.org and just download one of the big green buttons. Either of those should work. I'm going to scroll down here and go ahead and copy this out here. And this is just going to in install Vite, which is our, going to be our dev environment. It's asking for a project name, so let's call this like Google Cal API, something like that. And we'll use vanilla JavaScript, and that's it. <laughs> All right, it's pretty quick. You do need a CD into it, so I'll say Google Cal uh, API like that, and then npm install like it's telling me to do. We're just going step after step. And it should install fairly quickly. And then when we're ready, we're going to run npm run dev. One of the things I like about Vite is it's so fast, and I guess that's what Vite means in French anyhow, so um, that makes sense. I'm going to come in here to the Tailwind docs, and under Getting Started, we're going to look at using Post CSS. I'm going to copy all of this right here and just install it here. And then there are a couple files we're going to need to create uh, over this way as well. So you're going to see we're going to need a Post CSS config file and a Tailwind config file. Now I need to actually open up VS Code uh, folder here to that exact spot. So let me do that, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I've gone ahead and opened up the folder now. So let's come into here. Here's our Vite project here. It's already scaffolded out for us. I'm going to come in here and add those two files we need. So post css.config.js. And I'm going to copy all of this and just paste it in here. And I can close this now. And then I'll come back in here and say tailwind.config.js. And we're going to grab all of this and do the same thing. Now, you'll notice here that it's assuming that you have everything in a source folder. And that's a good idea. Um, because V doesn't scaffold it out like that to start with, I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of this. We're basically just going to say anything that's HTML or JS file in the directory uh, should work just fine. Uh, and so basically Tailwind is going to look at those files, this file here and this file here, and it's going to do its magic on it. So we'll get to that here in a little bit in our next video. Uh, finally, I need to take this and add this to whatever CSS file I have. In this case, it's this style CSS right here. And I'll go ahead and save that. And then it's telling you how to run this using MPX. But since we're going to use Vite, it's actually the same command either way. So I'm going to come in here and do npm run dev. And that should spin up our dev server. Now it's opening it at localhost 3000. And if I open this, it should be open right here. And you can see if you know anything about Tailwind, you can see it's already styling this uh, versus kind of the default stuff for Vite. Now, the way Vite works is it actually is going to import all that stuff using um, JS here, and it's adding this uh, JavaScript, uh, the HTML, directly through the JavaScript. We're going to actually add everything in the HTML, and that's what we're going to work on next time. This video is really just kind of setting up the environment. If you kind of got stuck, you can go <laughs> straight ahead to starting point lesson two and just open up the folder, uh, hit npm i to install all the dependencies and then npm run dev and that will actually get you right to this point right here with the local host open on one side and your code editor ready to write on the other if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe and i'll be releasing these here over the next couple of weeks all right thanks so much and i will catch you in the next one happy coding